Hey, it's Olga here from AlgaDictorio.com and Productivity with Scientists. This is where you overcome overwhelm, become more productive, get in charge of your day while feeling happy in your life. Today I wanted to ask one question. How do you feel about change in your life? Does it make you feel a bit scary, a bit uncomfortable? Or does it make you feel anxious or does it make you feel excited about it something that you can be looking forward to or something that you feel like you can embrace that well it's a nature of us human beings that we like things constant we like constant temperature for instance we like other things being constant in our life that contributes to security, to feel secure and are certain and certainty and security is, is one of the basic human needs so that's okay if it feels a bit scared when you're facing changes but I want to suggest also that change is necessary for our life you might heard me saying it's one of my favorite quotes is that if we don't change we don't grow and if we don't grow we are not really living so without change the life isn't possible so it's all about really learning how to embrace the change how to feel okay with that and how to get clear on what is it that you want and embrace the change and make decisions from the place where you're not going to regret your decisions where you're going to be okay with the decisions you made and how you started moving forward so I've I know you've been sharing with me that you're in a place where something just um, ended in your life, such as studies or your job, or about to finish, and you find yourself in a place where you need to think about what to do next. And it produces a bit of feelings of anxiety and being scared about this because for some of you this has been are going on over many years in your life more than three or four the usual time of PhD studies for you it's been more just because of your circumstances in your life and it's, beca it's became your identity so it now it's even scary to think uh, about letting it go and not talking now about you know getting your heart clear <laughs> and getting clear about what what is it that you want to do and for, for some of you nothing really finishes or ending in your life right now it's just that you you have a job you have your position but you can't go on anymore the way you've been doing it you know that you have to create a change in your life are you wondering how to do this and and i'm not suggesting now you know to go and quit your job and start something new there is a way of creating this change from inside out that's why when you uh, change how you do things and then you see how the external things start to align with you and you with new you okay so i cooked up something for you i've created this event that's called creating change women's retreat it's happening on the first of june here in edinburgh right in the city center and this gorgeous room and in a house that looks like a castle all, all the details below so you see that and that's why i want to offer you a space and time to to clear your head to uh, get in touch with what is it that that you want to understand what is it that you want not that someone 
else tells you that you should be doing, not what you are expected to be doing. I want you to get clear. I want to give you space and time to, to get clear on what is it that you want. And get get more clear, get more details of this, you know, on, on the paper and start getting more and more clear from that. And also if you need to make changes in your life to follow that, it might feel scary to make decisions about it. So I want to also help learn how to make these decisions from the from the place where you don't regret your decisions and if you're not ready to make decisions that's okay you can just do the first bits yeah and we're gonna look at it from a different kind of place where you feel grounded where you feel centered when you really focus on what is it that you want to create because it's just only one life you've got and it's really silly now to to spend it to do something that someone else wants you to do so you can do this and here is a space and time for you and who I am to help you with this to teach you this while well, you've you've known me you follow me with my Ethan and you've seen what I'm what I do I help people to become more productive and in charge of the day but I also have, have created changes in my life in a long long time ago that they're the story that I referred to in 2005 where, where I've um, hit the um, rock bottom hard and found myself depressed and thinking what to do and that's the changes that I've created in my life to uh, go to grow and to have a better better life but it's also recently you know I'm not a drama queen but I do have things that come up in my life like last year I found myself sitting there just I just I heard the news that my contract at, at uni has been terminated and just a few weeks before that I found out that I'm pregnant we're expecting a third child and my husband was about to fly away or to to see his mom to his, his family she was in the hospital and his granddad died so he needed to sort this out and I'm just sitting there so he was not able to take the job that he just was like looking for and applying for so i'm just sitting there the only uh, income provider in the family just like okay what do i do and that's what i want to teach because i went i didn't go into panic well just for a little bit but i went and grabbed again the tool that i knew working the the system the practices that i knew working and i constantly learn more of those tools yeah as those who've been working with me for a while you know that i constantly give you new tools because i work with people i work with best of the best you know i i, I invest lots of money in that lots of my own time and i learn from this i just attended an event in the states i didn't need to fly there i just attended it live via live stream and it's been so inspirational it's been three days and it's been a lot said on um, mindset and being su successful and living your life authentically, authentically, like really doing what you want and what what you like doing. And I've got again lots of new tools that I'm so keen on sharing with you and inspiring you and helping you create this change under this step. Okay, so. Uh, so that's it. So I've introduced you this event and this is a more information in this PDF file below and please send me a question and tomorrow if you sign up but until tomorrow you get a very good rate. This is an early bird and don't hesitate to drop me an email. I'm here for you. I'm I'm really I really care about you and I really love you. So I hope to hear from you. Okay, let's do it together. Bye for now. Bye.